Okay, so we are still looking at Romans 132, and this gives us reference scriptures to uh, Romans 2.2 2, that says, But we know that the judgment of God is according to truth against those who practice such things. All right. And then um, it also sends us to Romans 621. That says, what fruit did you have then in the things of which you are now ashamed? For the, for the end of those things is death. And so and that sends us back to uh, Romans 132. See, all of this goes hand in hand. And then so Romans 132 sends us to Hosea 7, 3. God is serious about sin. I'm telling you. He's serious about sin. 7, 3. They make a king glad with their wickedness huh, and princes with their lip, with their lies. So they make a king glad with their wickedness and princes with their lies. All right. And so and this sends us to um, make a king glad with their wickedness to Hosea 1, 1. That says the word of the Lord that came to Hosea, the son of Beeri, in the days of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah, and in the days of Jeroboam, the son of Joash, king of Israel. All right. And so, um, so that's what I said. They make a king glad with their wickedness and princes with their lies. And so that right there, princes with their lies, that sends us to uh, Romans 132 that we just read. So let's go back to uh, Psalm 50. Back to Psalm 50. And let's look at um, the B part of 18. So it says, And have been a partaker with adulterers. And saying that refers us to Romans 132 as well. What that means that, okay, well, I didn't commit adultery. Well, you didn't, you may not have committed adultery, but if you approve of somebody who's committing adultery, it's like you committed it too. And not only that, let's go, let's go to Romans 1. Let's go to Romans 1. Because it's not only adultery, it's not only being a thief. Let's go to, um... Romans 1 28 it says uh, 1 Romans 1 verse 28 and even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge God gave them over to the base mind to do those things which are not fitting being filled with all unrighteousness sexual immorality wickedness covetousness maliciousness full of envy murder, strife, deceit, evil-mindedness. They are whisperers, backbiters, hitters of God, violent, proud, boasters, inventors, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, undiscerning, untrustworthy, unloving, unforgiving, unmerciful, who knowing the righteous judgment of God, that those who practice such things are worthy of death. So not only if you've been disobedient to your parents, you're hating God, you're inventing evil things, you're murdering, you have wickedness, you're covetousness, you evil-minded, whispering, all the undiscerning, that means without understanding, untrustworthy, unloving, unforgiving, un don't have no mercy for nobody. So not only you doing it, but if you what? practice not only the one who practice such things are worthy of death not only do the same but also approve of those who practice them so if you're approving of people being sexual and moral then you're doing the same thing as well god is not playing i'm telling you i'm telling you then it says um in in uh, 
18b, it sends us to 1 Timothy 5.22. First Timothy 5 22 that says do not lay hands on anyone hastily nor share in other people's sins keep yourself pure do not share in other people's sins keep yourselves pure and so and then that sends us to Ephesians 5 6 and 7 Ephesians 5 6 and 7 that says, let no one deceive you with empty words, for because of these things, the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. Therefore, do not be partakers with them. We cannot. We have to separate ourselves from them. All right? Um, because if not, they're going to pull you in. They're going to pull and make you an accessory to their sin. All right, so we're going to break here and we'll pick it up in line 19.